What is up party people? So here we are again, day one of ReaperCon. And today I am going to do a walkthrough for you. It's a little windy out here. Uh, so that's why I look like, ah, my hair is all over the place. But anyways, so first I thought I'd start by showing you around to what the outside looks like and then we'll walk in together so that way you guys can see and get the full effect, especially for those of you who couldn't make it this year. Um, and you can get the full effect of seeing what the what the uh, convention center looks like because ReaperCon is now being held at a new place, which is the Denton Convention Center, also the Embassy Suites. Uh, it's all connected. So let me, without further ado, let me uh, turn the camera around so I could show you guys around. So over there is I-35 North. So this place looks kind of, this area looks kind of empty, but it is being developed. It is being built on. The Denton Convention Center. This is new. This was just built not long ago at all. I don't know the exact date of when it was built, so don't ask me because I honestly have not kept track of that. But probably sometime in the past like year or whatever. Uh, there's a hula hands attached to it. And down there, that way, you see a building over there? That's Cheddar's. That's another uh, restaurant that sells, uh, they serve American type food. The pool is right out here at night. It seems a lot of people will be hanging out by there. At least they were last night. And now we're gonna get ready to walk in the door. There's a bunch of tables all set up for people to game. Uh, these tables, mind you, a lot of them, they're not for painting, so you're not gonna be seeing much of that happening, except for, I guess, maybe late at night if nobody's here, but to give you an example, it's for gaming only, so. Uh, classes are being held in these separate rooms here. So just to give you an example of a classroom. Some classes haven't started yet, so what I'll do is I'll show you an empty classroom so that you have an idea of how these are set up. Then there's a partition and another class on the other side. Um, there's, qu there's quite a few rooms for the classes. Uh, they seem to have made a killing on classes this year, uh, and it seems they put no more than two in each room, which is good because it minimizes on background noise and disturbance and things like that. The faction walls, I still got stickers I need to put up on there. Uh, men's and women's restrooms are by the entrance area here. There's another thing of, of men's and women's rooms uh, down at the end. This is where the badges get picked up. This is the main room. Let me show you the main okay. room. Anybody ever seen History of the World? The main room! Video arcade games. Uh, yeah, I'm totally going to be playing on those later. I was thinking for my... I should, I should celebrate my birthday and have a birthday party in a video arcade. Hi, Jim. How are you? Good, thank you. It's Jim from Dark Sword. It's my friend Darren talking to somebody over by the board game li library, so I have to harass him later. So in the main room is where painting has been happening. Hello! <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. This is Artist Alley. Uh, it's still kind of, sort of early, so some people still aren't here yet. Some people are still arriving. Uh, for example, Michelle won't be here until tonight. But let me, we'll do a walkthrough for a little bit of the artist alley so you get an idea. Uh, also, some people are teaching classes, so that's going on too. Hi. So you got painters painting. You'll see sculptors sculpting. And then Aaron's always yapping to somebody. Michael's eating a burger. Yo, yo. What's up? What up? Yes, I am showing people around. I using the techie stuff. Yeah, I'm being all nerdy with getting down with my tech self. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hi, Aaron. How are you? <laughs> Good. Thank you. I'm giving everybody a walkthrough of. 
so that everybody can see all the good stuff. This is Aaron Hartwell's work. So which which doctor specialization are you? I apologize. Okay. This woman is not only a doctor, but she is also an incredible painter. Always comes out with awesome stuff. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Good yes, good. Oh yeah, no, I'm just Michael Schultz made it this year, thank goodness. Hi guys, the great Bob and Julie. <laughs> And then uh, this is where a lot of the sculptors are when they're doing their digital sculpting. So you'll see quite a see quite a bit of that. We'll see more of the the sculptors coming out with their stuff. Maybe I need to wipe my thing real quick. Leprechaun. Sorry, I was just wiping that real quick because it looked like it was. No, it's not helping. I thought it would help make it clearer, but I guess not. Pirate monkey painting. Support his Patreon and his Twitch. He does a lot of cool stuff online there too, with the painting. He does such great work. Look at that tartan that he did on there, that guy. See? Does amazing work. Look at this nice pe pe paint setup that Josh Davis has. Not bad, not bad. Lauren Cowles. I'll have to get to know her. We got Dave Carlson here, yeah. Who had a, who has a cheeseburger and a house salad. Good for you eating healthy. That's Doug Cohen. He is uh, well known for his historical painting and sculpting. He sculpts and paints all his own stuff. He does amazing stuff. His light setup is pretty cool too. Not expensive to do. I'll do the entries and stuff probably Friday night because that's when all the entries are due to come in and right now there's not really anything in there so it makes no sense for me to walk you through it um, without something to really show. But just so you know, this is basically what the room looks like. And then the North Texas Figure Club table is right there with those two crotchety old men. What? <laughs> no, I was just talking about how crotchety the two of you are when you're sitting there manning the North Texas Figure Club table. I have to pick on you because it's my job. Yes, it is. No one does it better than I do. That's Glenn Phillips' work. He does a lot of flats and he makes flats too. That's my Ron Burgundy that I put there for display for, for our club table. And then this is what the awards look like, some of the awards look like for the competition. That's for the best bombshell, best dark sword. Then the Reapercon Sophie's best to show, best monster, and best mouseling. And the medal set. Everybody knows what those look like. I'll take photos of those later. Oh, it ends up, so I thought that the vendor hall was had its own separate room because there was a whole wall up yesterday, but apparently, I guess just for while the hours of the con is going on, they open up the wall to make it more accessible to people instead of people have, don't have to walk out and around. So that's that was a wall that they removed. Here's where all the video interviews happen, the stage where all the announcing and emceeing is happening. I know, he called them because I was like, hey, why did you do that? The screen where they put the ReaperCon entries up. I don't know why the lettering is not, probably the lighting. The lighting in here looks pretty cool, but it's like it makes the, it makes it look blurry on the camera. And I thought at first maybe there was schmutz or something on my, on my lens. Okay, this is the ReaperCon auction stuff. On Sundays, you might have seen me do a live video of the ReaperCon auction. This is stuff that they have for the auction. And just so you know, Badger is gonna be putting stuff in there too. Because I brought in all the Badger stuff and there was a ReaperCon donation thing. up. Oh, there it is. That's my boy. And he brought other paints too. Cool. There's Metalsmith in there too. Right there. And Ghost Tints. And then the basic set. Mantic Games brought in stuff. Thank you guys at Mantic. I have stuff that I have to put in there for you too. I got to bring that. I'll do that after I do this. So here's where we start with the whole vendor thing going on. Everybody's still setting up. It's day one of the con. It's not busy yet. It's going to start getting busy, though, um, in late in the afternoon because that's when more people will be arriving, and it's also when um, people will be coming out of work. Hi, Jody. How's my Jody doing? I miss you, baby. We got to hang out soon. New paint sets. 
These are supposed to be released in the fall, I believe. Thank you. Brush your beast. They so said they got these new paints coming out. Thank you for liking the video. Yeah, go ahead and hit the like so that way people see them. How are people going to know about ReaperCon or, you know, feel like they were there if... Oh, look at that. So they've got some metallics in there. That Eldritch Purple looks like a very interesting color. Succubus Kiss. Huh. It's like a dark burgundy, that one. That looks more like burgundy wine to me. There was no love button. Oh, Anders, I'm sorry, baby. Just hit the like as much as you can, I guess, right? But those are new paints that are supposed to be released soon. I don't honestly know how much they are, but those are the newest items. I haven't fully looked around yet, so what do you... So, um, you know, you're looking at this with me, basically. What am I doing later today? I am going to be here at the con pretty much the whole time because I'm interviewing with people and have meetings and stuff like that. So I will be here all day. And I have Yeji and Clint with me, staying with me. Bobby's Hobby House. So glad they're here. I, I wasn't sure if they were going to be here this year. Queen Penguin is the lovely Shannon. How are you? Freaks and geeks. Oh, so that's what they are. Remember I was telling you guys I wasn't exactly sure what they have? Oh, we're, we're about to be, we're about to go, step in a wayward machine right now. Look at this. Castle Grayskull. What? Bro. Video game store, right? uh, downtown, Denton. downtown Denton. Vintage video game store. Oh, bro. Come oh, on now. You know, I sat there and I was telling everybody yesterday when I was showing off the swag bag, I said... I don't want to end up on hoarders, so I didn't get a VIP one. I know, right? Brings back memories for sure. And I sat there and I said, I don't want to end up on hoarders. And then you come here with all this vintage stuff. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Gears of War artist proof. Dude, that would be cool just to repaint. It's a Gears of War. That's kind of why I brought it. I was thinking about it. That would be cool just to repaint. And dude, it's only 10 bucks. Yeah, I might have to pick that up from you. Okay, and then Jane's Tools. I wasn't familiar with who they were, but now we're going to find out together. So they have little, small hobby tool kind of stuff. Hi, Darren. I love your hair. Tweezers are always useful for basing and stuff. Oh, so she has like every different kind of uh, tweezer you can get. Dental tools, great for sculpting. Also good for sculpting, all these sculpting tools here. And what's that? Oh, poke, poke the eye of your enemy. That's good for that too, sure, yeah. How's Patty doing? Yeah. There's all kinds of clippers. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Ken. I love you too, Ken. You're my favorite Ken in the whole world. Did you know that? Hi, sweetie. Give me, give me a hug, baby. Give me a hug. I've missed you, and I'm so sorry to hear about you, Dad. Oh, honey, I'm so glad that you're here, though. Very glad to see you. She's a displaced New Yorker in Texas. What can I say? <laughs> Do you? I came. It ended up. I came the same time you did, so I knew you had everything handled. Everything good? Perfect. Well, it wasn't my fault. I don't know who told him because I just ran into it. Take the house. blame, man. That's when you can take the I'm blame. I'm so right. glad I could help you out with this table. <laughs> He's waiting for me to get set up so he can announce that I'm here and the con's open. And, and let everybody open. know. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let me show. Hey, Carol, what's your fiance's name? Oh, the what? Oh, um. Matt. Matt, thank you. Mm -hmm. I looked all over your Facebook page. There's not a single post about it, so I didn't. Oh no, that's okay. That, that's because we're not announcing it until New Year's. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Love me here, though. <laughs> I love you. You're funny. Hi, Patrick. Hey, baby, doing? It's Clint from Models Workshop. So, what is up, my peeps? Oh, uh, you know, just got all some of the new stuff out, you know. Got the new Counter Blast game stuff. I'll be back around. All right. <laughs> Yep, I'm just showing off the, uh, oh, look at this. They have lunch boxes now. Yes, we finally got those out. They are, they are premiering at the show this weekend. 
Very nice. So make sure to get your lunchbox. If you want to be the coolest person at work or at school with your lunch, you want to get yourself a Counter Blast lunchbox. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Oh, I don't have that Counter Blast sticker, so I need it. Midnight Heroes. Hello, gentlemen. It's the one I told you about with the chibi models. We also have the pink ones. Yes. Let me make sure to show them. Enemy almost knocked sense into you there. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Yep, see, this is Dark Flame Books. Remember I told you guys to check them out? This is the, new, the newest books, right? Those are, those are her newest books, Lost and Found and Finders Keepers. And that is Valentine's Colors. Uh, she just stepped away for a minute, but she does custom orders, too. A dabbing unicorn. That's the best. I have to show that to Miranda. And then this is Material Cultured. Okay, this was another one I wasn't sure who they were. And these are, this is jewelry. Hello, how's it going? Great, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm just doing a live stream showing everybody Wonderful. all your, your new stuff. Oh, so you guys, geez. you sell, uh, it, oh, that's right. You guys were at ReaperCon last year, right? Oh, and you had all the, the old minis, minis, the vintage minis. Right now you expand the jewelry. Oh, I was wondering, I sat there, I was like, is that the same people? Okay, okay. Oh, for the, so here are the artists that made these the, the jewelry. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love these. Oh my goodness. I might have to pick up some of this stuff. Oh, this is cute. Cute, cute, cute. Frontline game's still setting up, so we'll let them do their thing and then I'll take pictures later. Oh, this is the Frozen Ninja booth. Hi. Oh my God, you guys have to see this cool thing that they have here. Oh yeah, we're working on the bolts. Look, up, wait until this turns around. That's a large size bus right there. Watch. Bam, money shot right there. They have a Kickstarter scheduled for October. So tell us about your Kickstarter that you have coming up. Oh, well, we have these here that are going in on the Kickstarter. We're planning to launch it in October. We have the resin pass for some of the things that are already available. That way people can see, you know, actually what they'll be receiving. Exactly. And what, what date in October do you know yet where you'll be launching the Kickstarter? Oh, where can people follow your your stuff to, to check on the Kickstarter and such? All right, great. Well, thank you so much. We're really looking forward to it. So those are some of the models. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. Look how cool that bus is. You don't see bus like that. And this one, too. Oh, my God. This one is one I'm really excited about, seriously. Look at this one. Can you imagine with the flames, with the OSL, what you can do with that? Anthony Rodriguez, I'm talking to you. You need to get that because you're good at your OSL. You need to do that. You need to get it. Hi, how are you? Good. Typhoon Paint Racks. Hi, yes. Yeah. And paint mixers and paint racks. Oh, I'm not on. Exactly right. Do you want to? Are you going to be demoing your paint your paint mixer? Certainly. Yeah, we're live streaming this. People on YouTube are watching. Yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm Robert Kennedy. This is my niece Elizabeth. 
and uh, I came up with the idea of a Typhoon paint mixer because I got tired of shaking paints back and forth all the time, and I remembered it from chemistry class that there were these mixers that they had that would mix up vortex uh, test tubes, and so I got one in, it was all trashy, but it mixed up my paint real good and stuff, and so, um, gentleman, I can't think of his name, but he came and gave us this. He said, I'm going to show you something that luck. will show you how well they mix. All right. So watch this. Oh, wait, he didn't tell So he said, as he gave us this, he says this stuff settles at the bottom of the mix. Now, this is our first time to try his product. I don't know what his product is, but it's not mixing all the way through. So instead, what I'm going to do is do this. I'm going to show you one of ours. This is acrylic paint. This is, I don't know what product this is. That's wall colors. What, what? Wall colors. Wall colors, got it. Okay. Wall colors, they're, they're from Greece. Exactly, okay, so I thought I'm not familiar with that and everything. So. Yeah. But anyway, but these are Reapers, these are Filetos and everything, and all the consistency on these or whatever uh, are to the following. To show you how well they mix, I invite you to watch above the label. So all I do is I take this and I push down gently and watch above the label. And you can see how the color changes and how it mixes all the way through in just five or seven seconds. You see how that changed everything. And just for the fun of it, I always turn it upside down and just do it. Like that. But Very that's fun. what these do. They mix your paints cleanly. Not that you should take and that you mix your paints all at one time. If you want to mix all 100 or 200 events at once, you can. But what's really impressive, what's the most important thing that I want people to know is that your paint station, all I do is I pick up one, I put it to my mixer, I touch it for five seconds, and I pick it and I open it up, and I know it's mixed thoroughly just as good as it was the day that you had it. So why shouldn't these paints work just as good the last day of the show and then as the first day? Right. So, right. Typhoon paint mixers, two varieties. One that is, does not have a removable top, one that does have a removable top, and a smaller top that goes on. Some people like that ability a little bit more. Yeah, what's what's the difference? Wait, what's, what, what's the difference with that one there? With this one right here? Yeah. This one here does not, this is an older Vortex mixer from an older chemistry lab. It oh. It did not have a removable top, but it had this plastic top, and it was screwed in place, and that's what it was. And it was okay if I was just doing Reaper, and that was it. Okay. But what I did was I found out when I did these, I did Reaper, and I said, okay, they mix just great and everything. But then people said, what about our Citadel paints, these paints and everything? And I said, well, of course, on these it would work great, but I didn't have these yet. So I sat back and I said, wait a minute. So I went to the store, radiator store in AutoZone, and I found a radiator hose that was just the right thing. And so I can fit that thing right down inside there. Okay. The radiator hose grabs hold. So when I take it, I hold this firmly, and I press down. It vortexes beautifully, and it does just wonderful. And once again, you can take your paint away, and you can know that this has been mixed thoroughly all the way from the top to the bottom. Very Both nice. Both mixers work very well. In general, this one, this design here that has the off and on, this one vortexes slightly faster by about 25%. But this one, the vortex diameter of two degrees, which is over here, this one is at 2.75 degrees, so that's why this one looks like it's going to It shakes it harder, so it goes. That's why it does that sort of thing. That's why when you do a paint inside here, it doesn't look as good as this. But it, this thing, honestly, they both mix acrylic paints beautifully. This one over here is perhaps slightly even better. Very nice, thank you. And I thank you, and this was the best way that I could figure out to put 75 paints in one foot of space. If you go to my eBay, uh, uh, Typhoon Paint Mixers, right, and Typhoon Paint Racks, I'm sorry, if you'll get, it'll take you to my eBay site of the Typhoon Paint Rack, it'll show you my own space. It's got three of them, one yardstick in the pot, and the yardstick is longer than three of them. In less than three feet, I I have 225 paints in front of me, and then a curved cor cor paint rack or whatever. Thank you. All right. Okay. Awesome. No, no, you're fine. Thank you. You're fine. You're welcome. So this is on YouTube right now? Yeah. How cool. Yeah. You're famous. <laughs> Tabletop Plus. Scale 75 is here. Hello, how you doing? Good. 
wow, they really brought their A game today. Got a bigger booth than last time. I like that it's more spread out too. They have a so Reaper has their calf part here. DGS. Clint, why you keep sneaking up on me? It's a Yeji! I found a Yeji in the wild. I think you just want to talk to me. How are you? <laughs> no. I know do that. Oh, this person's selling random stuff. Texas Viking. Oh, this must be a game store. Oh, look what they have. Sorry about that. They got some Cromlech. They got some basing stuff. Hi, how are you? They have awesome Star Wars shirts that, I'm, that I would spend all my money on. We give a pretty fair price. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my god, the original space. He has three copies of them. Holy shit. The old Harlequins. Look at that. Oh my god, dude. What? Oh, what is this? A chick's Batman shirt or something? Oh, is this a tank top? Wait, what, 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 what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a Batman tank top for 10 bucks. I might have to pick that up. And Pac-Man and Deadpool. Dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick that up. Yeah, I was, just, I was just wondering. I was like, dude, your booth is looking pretty empty there. What's going on? By the way, thank you for the gift in the uh, swag bag. I showed everybody it on Facebook Live. Now we're on live on YouTube. So I'll make sure to take pictures of your booth when your booth arrives. That is okay, no problem. But by the way, where can we find Forge Prints? We've been actually just rebranded to Galadoria Games now. And Galadoria.com and Forgeprints.com as well. All right, well, may hopefully we'll get people over there finding you. Thank you so much. Hangar 18. They're known for a lot of boutique models that they have. They have so much cool stuff. And then they have their Hangar 18 pinups here. Brushes. Wait, which brushes do they bring? Oh, they have Raphael's here. Oh, shit. They have their backgrounds for the photos. They're awesome photo backgrounds. And look at this. They got Creature Caster here. Oh, shoot. They got Creature Caster. Why y'all trying to make me broke? Mm. Is that what those are? Oh, those are, bro. Oh, oh. It is, apparently, that is your goal. You're trying, to, you're trying to make me be in a poorhouse and live under a bridge and whatnot. That's what you're trying to do. I see you. <laughs> Best little craft house in Texas. Yeah, enjoy. Hello, love. How are you doing? No, my hair is just super duper curly. I've grown it out from a mohawk. Nice. Yeah, they, like a, like a year and a half ago, I had a mohawk. So it's it, that's that's what it's growing out from, and that's why it still looks short. Hello, how are you? Good. Stokes Design Studios. That's what this is. Okay, cool. Yep. We do custom handmade journals, and we're based here out of Denton, Texas. Uh, we also um, have Denton journals as well as tasting journals, but our biggest ones are D and D five E format journals. Oh, that's cool. Each of the classes oh, come with their own character sheets and inventory in the back. We have them in large and small formats. That is really cool. And then we have spe special treats for Dungeon Masters. So, where's my NPC? There it is. If you're needing to keep track of any of your NPCs, we have customized sheets so you can keep track of all the people that you're creating. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, that is super duper cool. Yes. Where can they find you online? Uh, we're located at stokesdesignstudios.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, so let me show you what's outside of this main room. Go look at the, go look at the cat. Yeah, a one. 
Hello, Ryan. Hello. All right, so this is in the hotel part here. Um, there's tables to dine because there's a, a bar right over here. What's the name of the company with the character sheet notebooks? Uh, Stokes Design Studios. She said it's stokedesignstudios.com. But yeah, it's a very, very nice place. Uh, it has a very modern look to it. Whoever designed this, their favorite color was apparently green. I'll show you the rest of why of that in a moment. You're welcome, Nick. But also this bar part here, that's my friend Deja. We used to work together at Rainforest. She's bartending right now. Say hi to the camera, Deja. Hi, honey. So if you guys are at ReaperCon and she's making your drinks, y'all better tip her because she will let me know if you don't. So you see, it's very modern, very clean look. I do love the wooden, the, the wooden tables, how they did the wooden planks with trees. Isn't that gorgeous? Those are like my favorite kind of tables because I think they're just so pretty. And they have outlets for phones and for uh, laptops like she's enjoying. And this is Tahula Hands restaurant and bar. I don't know why they're they're slow right now. Hello, where are you going? <laughs> Cute little baby running around. Oh, okay, that's the co the coffee shop that people were telling me about. Man, it's just like I feel like with this place, it's like you turn a corner and there's something else here. What is this, this is made of? Rolled up pieces of paper. Look at that. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Here's what the front desk looks like. That's where everybody was checking in yesterday. And we'll be continuing to check in tonight, like after work hours. Iron Robra is the name of this cafe. Has coffee and salads and wraps. They serve Starbucks coffee. So this would be an H what's called an HMS host Starbucks then. <laughs> elevators oh okay so me when i was telling you whoever did this their favorite color has got to be green look at this here there's like these bookshelves and like every book on there is green it's craziness like some different shade of green oh my god they did make a fort wapple <laughs> bro Yo, yesterday, like, Jim didn't even know if he was going to have a Fort Wapple. Everybody was like, is there going to be a Fort Wapple? He's like, I don't know. And then apparently he came in here this morning, and he must have gotten surprised with this. Welcome to Fort Wapple. Oh, dude, we're going to need to bring that to Adepticon. That's going with us to Adepticon? Oh, bro. Oh, my God. That is going with us like everywhere every con we go to that is going with us and we're going to put it up somewhere even if it has to be in a corner and we all got to sit around like we're about to sing kumbaya but we're all just going to be painting minis there you go. that's what we're going to do <laughs> yeah oh we totally should hang it off a season yeah so that means you got to come to lvo this year then <laughs> if we're going to hang it off a of caesar's tower no, sears. oh sears tower oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that too <laughs> the one the Luxor, <gasps> off the pyramid part. Yes. Duh. It is. And you remember yesterday, people were asking if there was going to be a Fort Wapple, and you were just like, oh, I don't know. And you were just like, I don't know. And we thought we just had to like pick a table in the main room and then we come over and we see this. That's amazing. Painting Pyramid, that's where you get all of his videos. And if you put some cleaner in it, you'll catch your effect. And you got your airbrush all set up and everything. Bro, you weren't playing. What did you point in the when you said it was there? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. He's going to shoot you with air. Is that right? You're like, oh, honey, I'm in Texas. It's humid. Yes, we need this to happen. <laughs> Looking good. All right, so yeah, so that's basically, oh, let me get my hand out of the way. Obviously, you're not watching this video to look at my hand, duh, okay. Um, so yeah, so that is uh, ReaperCon. It's pretty much the, the walkthrough of it right there. Uh, don't forget to follow uh, metalheadminis.com. All the links to all of our social media and everything is on there. Uh, it, we might uh, do some gaming tonight and some drinking, and if we do that, we'll probably do that on Twitch. And so if we're gonna do that, we'll let you know and stuff. So be sure to follow us across, across social media and stuff and other than that till the next video later i will see you later and yes anders thank you so much you are just wonderful thank you so much so let me see how i can get this to end or whatever because i'm not sure how it makes you do that now okay well anyways so yeah you guys have yourselves a good day